Astonishing, really. Just one point dropped all season from seven games. It's an amazing start. It has been, yeah. It's been very good. And obviously, in the Premiership, we've we've done well um, to yeah, obviously to have the seven uh, seven wins at seven, which is great. And in other competitions, we're, we're going well too. So there's yeah, it's good, good on all fronts. But we've always got to keep pushing on, and there's plenty of stuff to keep working on. Uh, trilogy of games coming up over the next month or so against uh, against Gloucester, uh, and they're going really well in the uh, Premiership as well. Do you think this could possibly be your biggest test in the league so far? Yeah, I think so. Especially just now they're you know, they're on fire. Just now they're playing well and um, you know attacking the defensive. They're, you know they are you know they're playing very well just now and, and shows the, the position in the table. And you know they've improved a lot last year and then they've carried it on into this year. And um, yeah, there's threats all over the park. And what's the atmosphere like with these ones? I mean, there are more and more of these West Country derbies, aren't there, with Bristol coming up as well? But uh, what's the atmosphere like? Yeah, it was, it's derby game. You know what I mean, I'm, I'm from Scotland. There's only one derby game whenever I play up there, but and it's once twice a year. But here, there's you know, there's two or three derby games, which are which are great. And you know, you get packed houses and everyone turning up, and it's yeah, it's great to have. And you know, we look at the couple of the Premiership Cup games that we had before. We had big crowds of them. You know, games against Bath and that. So it's it's fantastic to have, and it really really helps the boys on. Thank you, Mark. Obviously, uh, Muzz, the big other news in recent weeks is Stuart Hogg coming in. This player you know really well, having played with him at Glasgow. Looking ahead to the future, what can he bring? Yeah, he's obviously a very exciting playing attack. He's very, you know, his attack, uh, attack game is very good. And yeah, just I think we, we looked at stats that Rob touched on before. He said about, you know, full backs, you know, we've I've got the second most touches, I think, of the ball. And, you know, you have Hoggy on the ball a lot. And the way that we play, I think it'll suit his game very well. Um, great kicking game on him as well, and yeah, it's just fantastic, exciting play. And showing that just now in the autumn test and what he's done with Glasgow as well. You talk about the autumn test in Scotland in particular. Sam Skinner making his debut. How pleased have you been for him? Yeah, it's delighted to see him. You know, to got him. It's a great, great capture for Scotland. That you know, great player. And you know, see him and Johnny Gray playing a lot of games in the second row together uh, going forward. And yeah, he's, he's you know, he'll suit Gregor's game the way they want to play that attacking uh, brand of rugby. And he's you know quality in the line and quality defender as well um, and he's, he's done very well in the first two tests he's played. He's been one of the production line from the academy and we've seen some of the boys last week Billy Keast and uh, Marcus Street coming into the squad how impressive you've been how they stepped up into to premiership beauty? Yeah again it just shows that that depth in the squad and the young guys that they've got coming through are, are training week in week out I mean you look at we've got four props away on international duty just now and, and these guys get to train against them every week and, and you know you know we have some pretty brutal scrum sessions during the week and they learn a lot from that and, and they learn quick and, and they're starting to show that when they get their opportunities in the Prem um, and the weekend there they put us in a great position to come off the bench and doing that scrum penalty and put us in a good position to score that um, to get to score that try at the end so it was yeah fantastic from them and yeah there will be uh, big features ahead of them especially the uh, Exeter Chiefs. Alan just talked about the threat of Gloucester you would have seen them last week they're, they're a, t a side that are banging form at the moment. Yeah, no, as I said before, they're you know great attacking side. They've got some big guys that like to carry the ball, and they've got a ten that you know directs a lot of the play, and, and you know, and he's he's very confident playing and the way he plays just now, and, and puts them on the on the front foot. And again, they've got threats all over the place, and then defensively, they're big physical guys in there as well. So it's it'll be a big test for us, but one we're looking forward to in a, in a packed out Sandy Park. Finally, last question: any game's got to be won up front, and that's where it's going to be first and foremost this weekend. They're, they're going to be big, they're going to be bruising. You've got to knock them down. No, absolutely. Yeah, obviously, set piece battle is going to be a, a massive one at the weekend, and you know uh, we were a bit disappointed in the way things went last week. Or myself personally, but you know we want to go out there and, and, and you know get stuck in at the weekend, and it will be a massive challenge. It always is in the Premiership up front, and uh, one I'm looking forward to.